What's going on in the style of Van Gogh when he is in over? Um, in principle, you could say that his style becomes a little bit more stenographic in the sense that it becomes more compact, that it becomes rougher. And uh, it's ideal uh, to explain it with this picture. Mm -hmm. That's what you see here. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why these pictures have been thought to be the last one. Because what you see in the sky is, for instance, blue. Yes. And it's evidently made uh, with the brush stroke. He has this kind of uh, broad brush and he uses it to depict or suggest the blue in the sky. Yes. Um, and that's the reason why this picture has been named as the last. But what we can see if we study the picture, there's white underneath. Oui. And so it's not, it's, not, it's not the beginning of a sketch, which some believed. No, it's the final effect that he does so. And you see this much more often in Japan. He uses a much more stenographical way to depict something, whether these are bushes. In Japan? Well, it's... it's you it's, said in Japan? Did I say in Japan? <laughs> um, he, he, he depicts them in a much more um, uh, stenographical way than he did before that time. Um. I mean, it's a gradual process, artistic process, but what we see in Ofer is that he makes it less detailed than what he does or wants to do in its and me. Ah. So it's rougher and it's more shorthanded, you could say. Shorthanded? Uh, short well, the, the shorthand in, in terms of doing something very concentrated. Mm. And uh, uh, this picture is an important picture in the sense that it's one of the pictures that was uh, uh, acquired very early by a museum. And, uh, and, can we, and can can we confirm that it's the last? No, it's not the last one. Uh -huh. Certainly not the last one, because it seems like it's a sketch, but it's not. So this is the finished ah, picture. Yes, of course, because in fact the cloud could be in blue and the sky would be white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 just a, 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 a style. Uh, I mean, it's style a, what he does here. A style effect. It's style effect, and you don't bother because you can recognize immediately that he, of course, he's aiming here at to suggest the blue of the sky, and the movement in the in 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 in, in the clouds is uh, now depicted not by the white, but by the blue. And he does the same thing actually in the picture that we see here on the right, the church in Auvers Wow, well, which is a masterpiece. Let's it's go and, and let's does, go and And he does see. exactly the same kind of thing you could say there. But uh, I thought it was, it was the dark nights, that's why he... No, it's he, not. It's simply typically Van Gogh who, uh, because he wanted to have this brilliant uh, sky in cobalt blue, uh, and uh, he could have chosen a very equal, uh, a much more flatter kind of sky, which normally the sky is. If it's blue, there's no space in it, so to say. But then he, he would, uh, the, the, it would not be in, in, in harmony with a much more uh, uh, energetic foreground. So what he does, he gives the, uh, the blue sky suddenly becomes kind of clouds, you could say. That's mm. what you see here. And, uh, but and we don't really see the clouds. No, you don't see the, you see the you sky. See, you, you see the sky. You, you see the darkness. Well, you see the sky and there's movement in it. And why is he so obsessed by the house there? By the, the houses. There are more houses and oh, characters. Houses. Yeah, but he chooses the old houses, and that's simply because he believed that if he would, his art. He aims, in, in especially in San Remy, he aims at making art that shows uh, 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 a human kind of art. And that's, in his mind, that's the, the, the kind of, um, uh, uh, is being uh, symbolized by the kind of houses where people live, have families and work in the fields. So it's the old houses, not the modern ones. Mm. The old houses, old cottages. With, yeah, but uh, why not to show people, human beings? Oh, human beings. Well, sometimes he did, but most of the time not. But uh, this subject, does it indicate something about his mood or about his sadness? No, it seems that he's longing for a kind of society which the, the society old, that, those, uh, that those cottages stand for. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. It's about living in close contact with nature. Mm. Because you will find the, uh, uh, the people who work in the fields there and not the, uh, the burgomaster of the, the city who, uh, who's living there. Mm -hmm. So it's, the, it's, it's a choice. Simple life. It's simple life. It's uh, uh, nature as he thinks uh, nature should be. So not uh, in opposition of the industrial, uh, industrialized uh, 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 towns. So uh, it's a bit nostalgic. Well, this not Jelsk, but also he thinks that he will probably live longer if he 
can really communicate with nature in such a small village. Uh, but it's a village that's being defined by indeed, uh, let me see, uh, no, that's upstairs. Okay. But indeed defined by a small, uh, uh, a small, uh, a small village in which people live who work in, in the fields. And uh, he, he, is he obsessed by motion? He wants to show wind in the herbs and yeah, the it's, nature? It, it's living. Nature is living. So ah. he depicts, of course, uh, and we have to re remember that it's spring when he arrives and that suddenly goes into summer. So you've got the harvest. So he depicts the harvest. Merci.